Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV playing on the Xbox One console. This is Westbridge Hills Wednesday, episode number 9. Alright, thanks for tuning in folks. We've got a little bit of news today. We're moving. We are getting rid of this sheep pen and we are purchasing the normal sheep pen and moving it over to our own farmland. So, let's just have a look here. We can see that this sheep pasture is about 19,000 days old, which is what is causing the $11,000 a day maintenance fee, which was worse. We had it up to $59,000 a day, but we've since figured out that all of those old buildings were causing the problem, so we're getting rid of this sheep pen once and for all. In about 10 days, it'll pay for itself anyway in the cost of a brand new sheep pen. So the first thing we need to do is, let me see. Oh yes, we need to scout out location. So let's drive on back to our farm here and we will we'll figure out exactly where we're going to put the sheep pen. Now I know what you're thinking. Looking at the top right hand corner, we've only got $68,000. That's not enough for a $150,000 sheep pen. Well, we're going to go to the bank. The bank is going to give us the money and that's what we're going to do and we'll just pay it back later. I'm sure that's what everyone says. Your check is in the mail. We'll deal with it when we deal with it. All right, so let's look at animal pens here. Scroll over to the sheep pasture. We want the large sheep pasture, sorry, $180,000. So we need 120 grand. We'll probably borrow 130 or 140 from the bank. Um, the $65,000 sheep pasture only holds 80 pigs or 80 sheep, sorry. And we want the big one so it can hold 250. So that's what we're going to do. But first things first, we need an animal trailer. So we need uh, $180,000 for the pen and $24,000 for this particular animal trailer that hauls 10 sheep at a time. So we've got 60 sheep. We're going to have to make six trips. So first things first, let's go visit the bank. We've got to go to the bank. We need some money. It's as easy as... Hitting the X button to borrow some cash. There we go. 200. Let's go an easy 218. There we go. So we borrowed $220,000 from the bank. Oh my lord. All right. We're going to have to pay that back at some point. All right. This is where we're going to put the sheep pen. Right here, smack dab in the middle, we're just going to turn it around so that the wool can be collected on the other side. And there we go. That looks just about, oh, too far. That looks just about right, right there. Perfect. All right. That is fantastic. So there's our new sheep pen. Not going to cost us a whole ton of money every day like eleven thousand dollars just throwing it away now we're just gonna have to landscape a little bit smooth out these bumps all in all not too bad let's do that real quick we'll get this landscaping out of the way all right yep so we're just gonna go around the pen and smooth everything out while we're doing that why don't you uh, look in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you'll see that little red subscribe square. Why don't you click that subscribe square for me, sub blah, 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 sub subscribe square for me. And then when you're done that, like and share this video. Click on that notification bell as well. Turn on all notifications so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. That would be super fantastic of you all. Then once you're done that, go and check out the featured channeled section of my YouTube channel. You'll see three very good up-and-coming YouTubers there. Mr. Deuce MS, Carl Johnson Gaming, and Mr. Crazy Simulator. Go to their channels as well. Like and share all of their videos. Subscribe to their channels. You can follow Deuce on Twitch as well. Fantastic live streamer, if I do say so myself. And then go and follow uh, Carl Johnson Gaming, Crazy Simulator as well. You won't be disappointed. All right, and then lastly but not leastly... You can follow us on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon. All of those links are in the description of the video. And then uh, there's also a 
uh, PayPal link as well for small donations, although you are not obligated to uh, donate anything at all. As long as you're watching the video and uh, enjoying it, leaving comments, dropping likes, it's all good to me. All right, so we've just got our animal trailer. Now we just need to zip on up to the store, pick it up, and go and get our first load of sheepies. We are moving the sheep 10 at a time. So we've got 60. We're going to have to make six trips. Um, just made sense to get the 10-piece uh, the trailer instead of uh, something larger for more money. It doesn't matter. we got nothing else to do today but move these sheep and fertilize our fields. We'll get, in, uh, we'll get to that later on. For now, look at those flags waving in the wind. Windy Westbridge Wednesday. And all right, here's our trailer. All we got to do is drive it to the old sheep pen, load up the sheep, and then drive it to the new sheep pen and unload the sheep. So that's pretty simple. All right, so it's a good thing it's not too far away. Otherwise, we might have gotten the larger trailer, but it's a short distance to drive. It's only a few minutes. It's not actually going to take that long. Go from point A to point B with 10 pieces of sheep. It's just uh, I couldn't stand to lose this $11,000 any longer. We've still got uh, canola, I believe it is, in the silo. So when the time comes, I think uh, next month, or uh, one gaming day, so in next week's episode, We'll probably sell all of the canola plus harvest the wheat I think that we planted here as well and then we'll sell all of that in hopes of paying off that loan for the new sheep pen so that we don't go too much into debt all right so we'll move these over 10 at a time trailers full confirm there we go we've now got 10 sheep in the trailer and off we go to the new sheep pen Right, sheepies, you are almost home. Your new home. And then I guess once we get some more money as well, we'll add uh, the chicken coop back. Possibly in the same spot that it was before, but because it was 19,000 days old, we had to get rid of it. There we go. Ten sheep down. Fifty to go. All right, so let's go and grab the rest of the sheep here. Uh, you get the gist. We'll skip to the end, and then uh, we'll just look at the last load and then refill the grass and the water. All right, here we go. All 60 sheep are now in the pen. This is going to make our lives a little bit easier. Now we just need water and grass. go so we can just drive back on over you can see the other sheep pen is empty there is now no need to keep that let's just zip into our inventory here real quick so this is the one we want to get rid of the zero dollar one there we go perfect now there should be just a big blank space over there. So we'll get rid of the trailer as well. We don't need that anymore. We'll send that back to the store. It's gone. And now we'll go over and get the water and the grass and the mowers. And then we will bring those back. Fill up our new pen so our sheep are not suffering that much. Keep productivity up. And then hopefully they start... Uh, producing wool really soon. I'm pretty sure we have to wait until early spring. I say that every episode, but I'm anxious. I want to see how much wool we can get out of these sheep. And there, the barn is gone. Nothing but that placeable car, or that non-placeable car. A little bit of a mess left on the ground, but who cares? It's not our problem anyway. We can also sell that piece of property and get our money back because we did have to buy that sheep pen first before it would allow us to put sheep in it. So I think that's like another $30,000 in our pocket. All right. 
just truck that you can see the remnants of the grass that we cut earlier to fill up the uh, grass trailer here. There we go. Grass going in. All right. Now we just need to go and get the water and the mowers. And then we should be good to start fertilizing. So this purchase will actually make our lives a whole lot easier uh, in the fact that we don't have to spend $11,000 a day on a sheep pen that we didn't want anyway. And then uh, the sheep are nice and close by, we can keep an eye on them. And then we can store the wool inside of a shed somewhere on our farm. And then it's closer to the water supply as well. This makes sense to move it closer. the water tank and then I think we'll grab the mower as well for the uh, front end attachment let's grab the front end attachment and we'll come back and get the mower and then uh, we'll sell that piece of land after we're done collecting the mower what's that over there oh that's the uh, pallet fork we gotta get that too It's moving day. Who doesn't love moving day? So we've got $35,000, $36,000. I think maybe we'll, uh, we might have time to squeeze in a fertilizing contract as well. I think there's one there for $30,000 or $29,000 that we can do. Let's fill up the water. That's a lot of water. And we gotta fill it up again. Let's go do that. See that? The water tank is right over here. Nice and easy. Yeah, we've got lots of room. We can fit uh, a chicken pen, maybe a pig barn as well. Who knows? I think we can, uh, I think we gotta chop down another tree so we can nestle uh, the pig barn right in the corner of that retaining wall over there. We'll get that done. Right, the water's full. Let's top off the trough. Then we'll go back and grab the mower and the pellet fork. There we go. Water's good right there. the bucket right over here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, and now just the mower and the pallet fork and we should be good. Well, I really do like this map. I want to try and make it work. Normally, I would just give up and go somewhere else, but uh, this map is very well laid out. There's lots of possibilities that we can do with the farm and lots of fields that we can buy once we get this operation up and going. I think we're just going to have to attach that mower to the back. And because we moved the sheep pen, we still have the opportunity for free grass. Uh, we'll just keep cutting around field uh, 17 there. We only need to cut the grass there every couple of days and by then it's uh, grown back so it works out free grass. Alright so we'll just leave the pallet fork up here with the mower. Reattach the bucket so we can clean up when a uh, mess happens. We go nice and organized. Everything's where it should be. I'm just going to leave the whole thing there. All right. 
Perfect. Let's have a look and see how our sheep are doing now. Everybody's doing good. All right, 100% cleanliness, 100% water, 100% grass and hay. Perfect, now let's get rid of that land. Since there's nothing on it now, we don't need to. Well, we could keep it for a grass field, but we don't really need it. There it is right there. It's $138,000. Well, that works out swimmingly. There we go. Let's put a bunch of money back on that loan. There we go. We just put $50,000 back on the loan. Well, that is perfect. All right, let's check out the contracts and see if that uh, $30,000 fertilizing job is still there. And it is 29,275 minus the cost of fertilizer, obviously. So let's accept that. And then we'll put the John Deere back in the shed. We'll grab the JCB and the fertilizer sprayer. And we will get to work. We've got to find uh, field 13. It's pretty big. That's why it pays so much. All right, fertilizer sprayer, there you are. I'll put you on the other side this time. Go. Let's fill that up. Probably have to refill it halfway through 13 anyway. It's pretty big. But now we've got more than enough cash and we paid back the majority of that loan. What did we borrow? Uh, $130,000 and we paid back 50. So now we only owe them 80,000. And we can probably get that uh, through contract work and the selling of our crops once they're ready to be sold. So after we're done fertilizing 13, we'll come back and we'll fertilize our own fields. And then we'll, we'll uh, get those done and ready for harvest in the next couple of episodes. Dodge that big pile of hay that's in the middle of the road somehow. All right, where's field 13? Bottom left-hand corner by the sawmill. Oh yes, that is a pretty big field. It's not as big as field 9, but it is a fair size. Alright, let's just get there a little quicker. Alright, we've arrived at field number 13 through the magic of fast forward. Right, so we're just going to unfold the fertilizer sprayer. Get into position. This is going to pay $29,000, and it only costs about twelve or 1300 bucks to fill up the fertilizer sprayer, so it's still going to work out. Even if we have to fill it up twice or three times, we're still going to make at least $23,000. That'll help put a dent in that bank loan as well. All right, fertilizing is fun, but in the interest of saving time... Here we are at the end, and it has started to rain halfway through the contract. There we go, and the contract is now completed. Let's stop and fold up. We will collect our bounty, and then head on back to the farm, fill up the fertilizer sprayer again, and then we will start fertilizing our own fields. So we're at $67,000 with the cost of fertilizer, and then we're going to make $29,000 from this job. $96,308, folks. Let's head on back to our own farm. All right, and we're back. Still raining. Let's fill up the fertilizer sprayer. <clears throat> oh, I just narrowly missed that tank. Yeah, there's no other contracts. Let's see. That's all done. Oh, we still need to spread lime, so it's not going to show us the level of fertilizing just yet. That's what we should have did. Instead of fertilizing, we should have spread some lime. Maybe we'll do that uh, after the harvest. We'll spread some lime down and then we'll replow and cultivate. And then reseed. Alright, so let's get this out of the way. Let's start fertilizing our own fields. And then 
once we start this and complete that should be it for today as there's not much else to do i don't really feel like doing that one bailing contract so we're just going to leave that for another day or maybe someone else will do it all right fertilizing is started and fertilizing has ended on this field anyway we've just finished fertilizing field number 16 you can see there's just one little strip left and then we're going to go back down to field 17 and start fertilizing that big field almost done there we go and it is still raining It went from uh, windy Westbridge Wednesday to rainy Westbridge Wednesday. All right, that's done. Let's fold this up. All done. Let's get... Oh, I am losing control. There we go. We're okay. No, now we're okay. All right, let's fill up the sprayer one last time. And then we'll head on over to field number 17, and then I think we will call it a day there's nothing left to do we've moved our sheet we've got everything all set up and nicely laid out over here at this farm yeah some of these trees gotta go they're just on the way all right so we're gonna start fertilizing this farm and that will be it for today's episode thanks for tuning in folks you're watching farming simulator 19 played on the xbox one console this was westbridge hills wednesday episode number nine I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. For now, this is JCTV saying, see you later.